learners, I will listen today look at acid base and salt, subtopic water hardness. Water is classified as hard water or soft water, depending on the ability to lather with soap. Hard water is one which do not lather it with soap and contain calcium amounts and magnesium amounts. Soft water is one which lathers easily with soap and does not contain calcium ions and magnesium ions. Types of tem types of water hardness include temporary water hardness, permanent water hardness. Temporary water hardness is one which can be removed by boiling and contains calcium hydrogen carbonates and magnesium hydrogen carbonates. The reason why it can be removed by boiling is because the soluble calcium hydrogen carbonates and magnesium hydrogen carbonates decompose on eating to form calcium carbonate and magnesium carbonate respectively. Permanent water hardness cannot be removed by boiling and contains calcium sulfate and magnesium sulfate. The reason why it cannot be removed by boiling is because calcium sulfate and magnesium sulfate do not compose on eating. Effects of water hardness. It forms scum when washing with soap. Now, scum is a gray white suspension formed on the water surface when washing with soap. How is scum formed? The octadecanoid the octa ion in soap combine with calcium ions or magnesium ions to form insoluble calcium octadecanoid or magnesium octadecanoid respectively. Equation for the formation of CAM is shown below. How to remove water hardness? 1. Temporary water hardness. Can be removed by A. Boiling. Soluble calcium and carbonate and magnesium hydrogen carbonate decomposes to form insoluble calcium carbonates and magnesium carbonates respectively, and removing calcium amounts and magnesium amounts in water. Equation is shown below. B. Addition of sodium carbonate. Sodium carbonate precipitates calcium amounts and magnesium amounts in hard water to form insoluble calcium carbonates and magnesium carbonates respectively. The equations is shown below. Addition of calcium hydroxide. Calcium hydroxide precipitates calcium ions and magnesium ions to form insoluble calcium carbonates and magnesium carbonates respectively. Now, the disadvantage of using calcium hydroxide is in case where excess calcium hydroxide is added, calcium ion still finds itself in the water, making the water to become hard. hard. Equation shown below. Permanent water hardness can be removed by A. Addition of sodium carbonate. Now, sodium carbonate precipitates calcium amounts and magnesium amounts as insoluble calcium carbonate and magnesium carbonate, respectively. Equation is shown below. B. Distillation. Distillation removes dissolved salts from water. Now, this method is used for preparation of water to be used in laboratories. The advantage of using this method is it's expensive when used to soften large amount of water. C. Ion exchange. How does it work? When water is passed through the ion exchange, permeate releases sodium ions, which exchange with calcium ions and magnesium ions in hard water. Calcium ions and magnesium ions become part of the complex while water passes out the sodium ions. The discharge of the column occurs when all the sodium ions have been removed from the column. The recharge of the column is done by passing concentrated sodium chloride through the column so that calcium ions become part of the complex while calcium chloride and magnesium chloride passes out of the column. Equation for the recharge is shown below. 
advantages of waterness calcium ions present at water is good for teeth and bone formation two calcium ions help in formation of shells in animals three it prevents lead poisoning due to formation of insoluble lead carbonate in water pipes leading hence preventing lead from dissolving in water disadvantages of hard water wastage of soap due to scum formation two scum leave dirty marks on the clothes after washing Three, it reduces efficiency of electrical appliances due to deposition of calcium carbonate and magnesium carbonate on the surface of the appliances. Learners, at the end of the lesson, the next lesson will look at solubility.